maybe there's some secret city that I'm missing. Okay, there's one. There's a secret there in uh, that direction. The direction where the mines are being put in. Where are they? Hold on a tick. Hold on a tick. Oh, it's mine. Bloody hell. Can I at least see the bumps? Of course I can't see the bumps. Of course there's no bumps. You put the ones without the bumps. Uh, secret areas. Alright. Although. Although. I have ways of guessing which thing is the mine here. I think there's one there. Nah, I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother. It's just completely unaccessible, I guess. Hmm. Mine detectors aren't just a aren't just a novelty item anymore. You actually do need to get them for these maps where the mines are not put behind bumps. I guess these guys have finally learned how to put mines in a more good, better way. Good for them, I guess. Good for them. Hmm. How are we going to deal with this little house here? How are we going to deal with this trigger happy fellows? These guys have like um, reactions that are actually... Hmm... Thank you, that's something. There we go, what about the dogs? I hear a dog there. From outside? No, from inside. I'm guessing there's an upstairs to this. Okay. Trying to shoot through the doors again. A good little co covering fire. Not good enough, I'm afraid. Oh, it's a downstairs. Ah, stop for a second. That might be a basement. Yeah, take that. How do you do, fellow friends? Not well, I hope. Okay. That was close. I have the blue key now. What is that metal armor doing in there alone? Can I do something about it? No. Seems kind of strange. Hmm. Anything, anything behind this? Oh. I opened something? Oh no, it's the door. Probably just the door. But anyway, yeah, I got the, I got this, I got the. Well, what is this? Blue. I forgot what the name of this key is. Just simply green key. Yeah, it's, it's green key. Where is the green? Definitely not here. Not here at all. Wow, this place is just really big, huh? You guys aren't like splitting it into half or something. You just straight out two maps. Go nuts. Oh boy. I remember playing a Doom mod a long time ago that has like a progressive map sort of thing. I think it was Chibi Rebellion. It had randomized maps and a very interesting way of connecting them. You can like go back through other mis other maps too and uh, explore them and the inventories are not reset there so you can explore them willy nilly. I wonder if such a system can be added to this once, once the whole thing is done you know to us compatibility for older computers or you know some things that are not as powerful as that tank because once again I'm ad admitting here my computer not the best in the world and I'm not exactly in a position to upgrade either maybe if I'm stinking filthy rich but I'm not that so not that yet hmm. I can stack and spot here. Trying to spot if there's any enemy snipers here. This place is just way too big for, for it just to be a... Uh, give me a second. Trying to get that helmet. I can't get that helmet. I... Maybe I need to circle around it in a counterclockwise kind of way. Nope, not like that. Like this. Nope. Um, I can't seem to reach the helmet here. Alright, never mind that. Never, never mind. Does Tang actually do something? No. 
Anything useful? No, that's a shame. Hmm. Dogs! I'll see you there, buddy. Any more? Yep, there's one. Check behind. I sense that the developers might just put another one of these uh, spawning dogs thing here. I do not appreciate those. I appreciate those. I do not. What else we're going to find here? Catacombs. Catacombs indeed. And I think I see a sniper there. Let's see if I can spot the guy. Oh! From where? Oh! The rooftops! Ah! Take cover! The rooftops. Is that the roof? Freaking trees! Yep. I see him. No. Well, I don't see him. I can I can make an... I can kind of make an educated guess on where he is. And... Go. Oh, boy. What? That wasn't a very good cover, actually. Wow, sometimes the models give all the cover in the world, and sometimes they give Jack Doodley. Alright, then. Take this, you silly bugger. What about the upstairs? Now, remember, this is the church. There is a nebel welfare on the roof. Getting that should be main priority. However, if there's any other snipers in here, or maybe there's the occasional wehrmacht guys just sitting there with a flamethrower? Yeah, okay, that's a great weapon to be using around this part, lad. That's a good weapon. Can you, like, come back here? Oh, wait, sorry. I'm... Great! Just as I was reloading, you... <sighs> there we go. Get another one. Are you dead yet? You're dead. All right. Oh no, we're in we're in a catacomb. Are we are we gonna start doing the occult stuff now? The spear of destiny. Hitler did got the spear of destiny. Might be some of that zombie stuff here too. You know? Die, you American shrine. Huh? Die, American shrine? Ah. Oh. He's inside. Can I actually open the door then? Ah, yes, I can actually open the door. And he's just gonna... Alright. Well, alright then. Whoops. Careful there. Getting a bit dodgy here. Take this. Careful. There we go, concentrate the fire all the way. My health problem is a bit on the careful side though, I gotta be really careful here. Goodness gracious me. Wonder if I got... Oh. A sten? A sten? Yes. Yes. I agree. This weapon has the exact same power as the MP40 except it shoots faster. I completely agree on using this weapon. Yes, sir. Just like in Return to Castle Wolfenstein, somehow even a better weapon than the MP40 and the Thompson. Though in, though in Return to Castle Wolfenstein, it overheats, though. I really hope they don't bring that back, like giving the weapon more power but giving the overheat thing. That was a real bugger in Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I almost never used the weapon. Almost. It's still a decent weapon, though. Still a decent weapon. Alright, let's see what's inside this church, eh? Hope nothing occult chickies and zombie is this.